congratulations to today's daily shout out winners if you want to win a shout out leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in my next video hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Lucy, and today you already know i'm in the spooky season it is almost halloween time well it, it basically is halloween time if you guys haven't noticed my chandelier here has had like spider webs on it the last few weeks i've already been decorating for halloween loki i have like spider cobwebs in the background and the leaves and that's Angel, by the way. She's sleeping on the bed like usual. Anyways, you guys know I love, love, love spooky season and Halloween time. So today, I'm going to be covering one of the scariest ghost stories and ghost footages ever caught on tape to this day that not a lot of people know about. And trust me, the tea is hot. But before we get into that, guys, I do want to say be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have not. It really does mean a lot to me because we are so, so close to hitting 2 million subscribers and I don't want you guys to miss out on my future videos, so be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, guys, be sure to drop a like on today's video because today is actually Angel's birthday. Let's try to get today's video to 20,000 likes for Angel. Also, I'm going to be posting a birthday vlog on my vlog channel for later so be sure to subscribe so basically today i'm going to be telling you guys the story about the world's most cursed haunted pinata yes you heard me there is a haunted pinata on this planet and the tea is crazy hot so the whole story starts about a guy named mario he actually owns a small party store slash shop in mexico and it's always been his dream to own a small business so he was so excited when he finally opened this store this store had sold household items however his most popular sale in his store was his pinatas and this is where the story starts mario had one specific pinata that actually was cursed this pinata started causing a lot of problems in his shop and store. The name of his pinata was Moana because it was based on the Disney's Moana movie. It literally was a pinata of Moana that ended up being possessed. Like, no joke. Every morning when entering the store, Mario would find the pinata thrown in different locations of his store. His employees immediately found this pretty strange from the start. And then eventually after the pinata started moving around on its own all over the store throughout the night and day, they then started finding long black hairs throughout their store. As you can see here, they had pictures of it. It was like really creepy, long, dark, thick black strands of hair. They were just randomly finding them on the floor and in between product shelves. And the weirdest part about it was they didn't have anyone in their shop with long, dark hair. Like none of the workers, nobody had hair that long and dark. Eventually, weirder things started to happen at the store and it got worse and worse. Items would fly off the shelves all by themselves with nothing touching them mysteriously. Black hair would even droop out of the shelves all by itself. Literally take a look at this video where they're just minding their own business and black hair just droops out of nowhere by some products on a shelf like what that is horrifying it eventually got so bad that they were so sick of this stuff happening they ended up setting cameras all throughout the entire store in every single angle to prove to their family and friends and relatives what was going on because people didn't believe any of their crazy stories that they claimed were happening at work when they heard about them however what he ended up catching on film ended up filling him and his co-workers with the worst dread of their life and he actually wishes he never started to film these videos so basically some of the stuff he caught on tape was so scary and real that I'm gonna warn you guys right now. Grab some popcorn, grab a teddy bear, and don't watch this too late at night, okay? It's pretty crazy stuff that he caught on tape. And it's already been crazy enough, but it gets worse. Let me just tell you, this is the craziest story I think I might have found all year, honestly. Eventually, he released footage of the horror he captured on tape to the public, and his videos ended up going pretty viral. Thousands of people drove to come see his shop and his possessed Moana pinata. And so far, nobody's actually been able to debunk these videos as fake because they're almost too real to say they're fake and there's almost too much that goes with it to call it fake. There was even a video that he posted on his Facebook page where there was a door just banging all by itself. Yeah, we don't And the owner was so scared he ended up walking into the bathroom and the Moana pinata was just sitting there in the corner glaring at him. And then he moves around to the toilet on the other side and looks behind the door and nobody's there. How is that even possible? I do not understand. That's almost too real like you can't even make that up. Esperaba que me hubieran hecho una broma. 
unless you're like a crazy good video editor. And there's another video that's super strange that I'm not sure if it's real or not. Like I said, you'd have to be a seriously insanely good video editor to like fake this stuff. But there was footage of the pinatas sitting in the storefront alone all by themselves overnight where a camera was recording them. Eventually during this video, the lights flicker on and off and items drag across the floor and then a figure appears by the pinatas and pops out behind them. It looks demonic, like some kind of creature with big glaring eyes or some demon of some sort. That's like sleep paralysis demons. Like, that is horrifying, okay? Like, if I saw that, you know I would be running from my life. Like, if I saw that, I would be out of there. I would never, ever go back. But basically, that video right there went so viral because people thought, like, he finally caught the actual demon or whatever the creature was on tape. And people were just trying to figure out what was going on. But things ended up getting worse and worse for this poor guy in his poor pinata shop. There was another night where the owner of the store went into the back of his shop for a snack. He ended up hearing a strange noise and walked into the main room and saw the Moana pinata and then saw a demonic figure hiding up high on the top of his shop. Just looking and glaring down at him seeing the pinata. <laughs> If you look carefully and slow down the film, you can see the resemblance of the faces. Oh my gosh, this poor guy and everything he had to do just to keep his shop running. Like, I get that he had a successful little business and he's probably really proud because, like, you know, he opened the shop up and it's everything he ever dreamed of. But if it was that scary, oh, trust me, I would have sold that place immediately. Like, I would have burnt the place down to the ground. That Moana pinata would be no more. Then, after that crazy occurrence happened, two weeks later, they caught another video of a pinata just somehow spinning out of control all on its own. No joke. Like, take a look yourself. happened and I don't know how, don't know why. There's just so many questions I have at this point. Like, I have a lot of questions. Then after that happened, there was more footage of a store owner, Mario, just walking through the shop on his own to find a drill, a literal power drill, turned on all by itself with no cord or no battery attached to it. <laughs> And then even creepier, it turns to point exactly at him when he turns back around to look at it. And that was all just posted on this guy's Facebook page, like casually, that happened to him and he was so freaked out by it. Eventually Mario got so scared he ended up posting on his Facebook for help. And a shaman on Facebook offered to take the Moana pinata off of his hands and sent him a location of where to leave the pinata for him to go pick up. But sadly, after the shaman picked up the pinata, you know, Mario would have thought things would have gotten better for him, it would have gotten rid of the problems, but it didn't. It actually got way, way worse. After he dropped off the pinata to the shaman, the paranormal activity started happening daily. At first it was like, you know, once every like couple days and it was pretty bad when it did happen, but it got super heavy and draining and things would go wrong multiple times a day in his shop. A TV they had in the back of the store started turning itself on and voices started coming through the static of the TV somehow. Even though they tried to unplug the TV, it somehow turned itself back on again with zero plug or zero power connected to it. Okay. Okay. Then the next morning, the shop owner Mario woke up with a bloody nose and marks around his eyes and no memory of what had happened to him the previous night before. And later that same day, he was in the shop holding his cat and got attacked by something. And he even captured that on camera too. If you watch this video, you'll notice his middle finger on his left hand was unexplainably bent all the way backwards by itself. And you can't just bend your middle finger like I'm trying to right now. You can't just bend it like that yourself. So you cannot make that up and that would have to be some seriously good editing like I said. It hurt him to the point where he even dropped his cat on the ground. And if you guys knew who he was, apparently people say that he would not just drop his cat even for some fake fraud sort of like skit. He would not just throw his cat because that was his adoptive rescue cat who he really loved. But eventually since the activity got worse and worse to the point where he was terrified for his life and his job, he ended up contacting the shaman again to get the pinata back. Yeah, he thought that would make things better for him because once he got rid of it, it got worse. So he went 
and he asked the shaman for the pinata back so the shaman of course left the pinata around the same spot where he had dropped it off in the middle of nowhere so he even did a Facebook live stream where he drove all the way to get the pinata where the shaman had left it and he recorded it he ended up finding the pinata and things were looking okay he grabbed the pinata put it in the bag while he was on live stream but when he drove home, he ended up having some problems already. During his live stream on the way back home, he started hearing crying in the back seat of the car. And then he was so freaked out that he decided to look behind him and he saw a demonic figure that looked just like the same figure that was haunting his store. And it was caught on tape during this live stream. Cries can be heard coming from the back of the car. Suddenly, out of nowhere, something appears behind Mario. It looks like a figure. You can even see the face. Like, no joke. What the heck is that? No, 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 no. I'm good. Tonight we're sleeping with a million nightlights in holy water. He got so scared that he ended up crashing into a wall over this figure and over the scary crying sounds he was hearing in his car from the pinata. He then actually had to get car help that same night. So he had his car told in and he thought that, you know, oh well, he got the pinata. Things will get better, right? Wrong! This man made the wrong choice once again. Things once again got worse. One night shortly after all that happened, he was in the shop alone working with his cat and he heard something strange bang against the wall. He then went to go see what it was and to his surprise, he saw the pinata. His cat was clearly terrified in this video. I mean, you really just cannot make this up. Like the cat was so scared. I actually feel really bad for the cat because who knows what the cat can see versus the human. Sometimes like pets can see things that we don't. And then he ends up looking in the bathroom, turns around and the pinata is upside down. <gasps> this was all getting so incredibly out of hand that people were beginning to think that this was all a setup. So he actually got mad about people thinking he was a fraud to try to get more business to his store. That's kind of like what people were thinking. So he actually brought in a paranormal investigator to prove his point. The same night that the paranormal investigator was asleep at his place to investigate what's going on, a TV moved across the floor and turned itself on all by itself without any plug. Then even crazier, if that's not enough for you, the paranormal investigator decided to play VR for some reason, probably to distract himself because it was so creepy to sleep there overnight alone. And during the time that he was playing VR, he didn't even know this himself because he couldn't see anything. There was a figure of what looked like a demon disguised as a small boy watching him play VR. That is horrifying. And honestly, I don't even know if there was any updates since then, but I actually recently discovered this pinata shop by a TikTok video that I found and it's so insane. I didn't even know the story goes that deep. I didn't even know about it until I found the TikTok about it the other day, but that is so scary. That is probably the most haunted store in the world. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Is this store actually haunted or is it fake? And would you guys spend the night at this haunted pinata store with the haunted Moana pinata? Cause I sure wouldn't. You couldn't even pay me a million dollars to do that, honestly. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's going to do it for today's scary story video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in the next video. It's been your girl, Lissy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.